Hello and welcome to The American Rancher. I'm Pam Minnick. This week we're checking out exciting new adventures the Red Angus Association of America has up its sleeve. Today we'll talk about an exclusive marketing grid developed with Tyson Fresh Meats Incorporated where only Red Angus Feeder Calf Certification Program Yellow Tag Cattle can access premiums. Commercial producers will want to take note of the marketing programs Red Angus has to offer such as the industry's first genetic, source, and age process verified program. We'll find out how to build a foundational cow herd for success in any part of the country utilizing Red Angus genetics and maternal traits. When we return, we'll learn more about Red Angus and how you can take part in the new Choice Plus Premium Red Angus Grid and build a successful cow herd. Don't go away. For 50 years, Hoffman Ranch has been committed to producing real-world Red Angus genetics for the commercial cattlemen. Make plans to attend the hoffman Beckton Joint Production Sale in Miles, Texas on Wednesday, October 1st. Combining 120 years of Red Angus experience, these programs produce animals that excel in fertility, efficiency, and longevity. Offering 500 head, including coming two-year-old bulls, registered and bred commercial females. Hoffman Ranch, raised with tradition, bred for profit. No storm is too powerful for New Purina wind and rain storm minerals, formulated with ultimate weather resistance. That means more minerals in the feeder and available to your cattle. Wind and rain storm minerals provide more consistent intake and balanced mineral nutrition to optimize herd health and breedback rates. See the difference at your local Purina dealer or visit cattlenutrition.com. Wind and rain storm minerals, another way Purina is building better cattle. Cross Diamond Cattle Company is dedicated to raising top quality Red Angus genetics, along with unsurpassed customer service to cattle men and women throughout the nation. Scott and Kim Ford of Bertrand, Nebraska base their breeding program on structural soundness, efficiency, fertility, and disposition. Join Cross Diamond on Monday, December 8th as they offer age-advantaged coming two-year-old bulls to help enhance your operation. For more information, visit CrossDiamondCattle.com. Welcome back to the American Rancher. Ranchers and feeders who witness cattle sales across the country are more than aware that feeder calf certification program enrolled cattle are competitive in the calf and feeder cattle marketplace, often garnering revenue above their contemporaries. Is there a fed cattle market outlet for FCCP tag cattle? Of course! Red Angus cattle have been successful in many formulated pricing structures evident by the number of Gridmaster winners Red Angus Association of America has recognized in recent years. Red Angus offers the industry's first genetic, source, and age verification program, the Feeder Calf Certification Program, or FCCP Yellow Tag. Ranchers utilizing registered Red Angus bulls should take part in this process verified program now more than ever. With a rancher-friendly enrollment, the process to enroll is easy. Call the Red Angus office and go through a quick question and answer session over the phone. Once enrolled, the tags will be shipped directly to the producer where they'll be applied to calves prior to leaving the ranch of origin. Fill out one form on tags used and the date of the first calf born and send it in with a copy of your calving record. The Red Angus Association will create your certificate of compliance which is what feeders and packers will be looking for to verify your cattle in the FCCP. We've really used that program since the late 90s, early 2000s. I could go back and look and see when we started exactly, but um, you know, if I was to explain the ease of use of the feeder calf certification program, I'd, I'd have to say that it's as simple as using Red Angus Genetics and then making a phone call. And so it's extremely easy to utilize and that's one of the reasons why it works so well for commercial cattlemen like me. Producers that utilize Red Angus Genetics now have a new exciting opportunity to garner premiums that never before have been available to red hided cattle. Packers know and trust the quality and consistency that Red Angus Genetics bring to the table. Red Angus and our partners at Tyson Fresh Meats Incorporated have revealed the new Choice Plus Premium Red Angus Grid. The program revolves around incentives equivalent to Angus premiums 
for cattle that grade upper two-thirds choice, as well as additional incentive for load lots of cattle grading a high percentage of choice and prime. The program is for FCCP enrolled cattle only and offered through Tyson Fresh Meats Incorporated. So a little background on the Beef Marketing Group is that uh, we are a uh, cattle marketing cooperative. So we consist of uh, 19 feed yards, uh, mainly uh, in the state of Kansas and, and in Nebraska. Um, and we were a part of an aligned system where we harvest our cattle to one processor primarily, uh, that being Tyson Fresh Meats. And, uh, and so be through that alignment, we're able to um, understand really what the customer on the other side of the packing plant is looking for and what we can do then to, uh, from a raw product standpoint, deliver that product, um, produce those kind of cattle consistently uh, year in and year out. The, uh, the Red Angus uh, initiative has been a really uh, exciting initiative for us to be involved in over the last two and a half, three years. And really what we've, uh, what we've tried to do is partner up with the uh, Red Angus Association. They've got, they've got a program, uh, a yellow tag program, where they identify uh, the, the producers of the uh, Red Angus uh, cattle, identify those with a yellow tag, and uh, that verifies that they have Red Angus genetics and uh, that they, they comply with the Red Angus Association specifications to qualify for those feeder cattle. Uh, we are excited about that because that's a very predictable product. Uh, they're high quality animals, they've got known genetics. In many cases we know uh, the weaning and preconditioning practices that, that are involved or entailed uh, before we have a chance to bring those uh, cattle or purchase those cattle into uh, our system. Um, in the last two years, we've in our feed yards, we've probably fed between uh, 1,500 and 2,000 uh, of these cattle. And uh, we've got a number of the leadership within the Red Angus Association that have partnered with us on, on, the, on the feeder cattle. And we feed them and then we actually um, harvest them through Tyson. And we utilize the grid, the Red Angus Plus grid that uh, has been developed and now in place. And it's been very exciting because uh, these cattle that are of high quality actually generate more value for the producer. And if we partnered on the cattle for us as partners, uh, than they would have anywhere else. So it's really working. And the Red Angus Association has created an opportunity uh, for producers that are willing to make the extra step and use the right genetics and stand behind those genetics uh, to receive more value for their feeder cattle. Um, the good thing about that is that you instantly have agent source verification. Um, and then it also gives the buyers, if, if we're selling feeder cattle, it gives the buyers the confidence that those cattle are at least 50% Red Angus. And um, it, it's also just another way for us, when we talk about putting bells and whistles on our cattle and doing everything we can to add value to them, it's just another one of those things. It's, it's, for us, it's just like, you know, it's, it's just like preconditioning, it's just like PI testing. It's all those little things that we do that we think maybe add some value to our cattle. And, and, um, and, and we're always gonna do that if, if we can. I'm just thankful that the Red Angus Association has, has given us one of those pieces of the puzzle that we can use and one of those tools that we can use to add value to those cattle through the feeder calf certification program. We took that philosophy um, uh, to the Red Angus Association as they wanted to further develop uh, this opportunity for the cattle that their, that their um, producers are responsible for. And so we, uh, we worked closely with Tyson and uh, looked at a number of different options in terms of how we could reward uh, the cattle that would produce these high quality carcasses. And so, that, so then we, we produced a grid and we actually fed some cattle uh, and harvested them against that grid to make sure that it was achieving the objective. Because you really don't understand, you really don't know how the grid is going to perform or the cattle are going to perform against a grid until you actually harvest some against it. So then we're able to fine tooth fine-tune it to make sure that it's achieving everybody's objective. The, the end user, the packer, the feeder, and the Red Angus producer. I think it's a very, extremely competitive uh, and, and really rewards those specific animals that have the yellow tag. If I could pinpoint one thing in terms of the strength of the Red Angus grid, it would be that we're actually rewarding Red Angus cattle that fall into the upper choice quality grade. So previous to the Red Angus grid, if a Red Angus animal fell into choice, it received a choice value. 
Well, what we were able to do is to break that down so that they receive that choice value if, if the animal falls into the lower part of the choice quality grade, because there's a number of degrees that are in the choice quality grade. If they fall into the upper two thirds of that choice quality grade, now the animal is eligible for additional premium so that it is competitive with other programs that are out there. So um, now then, if you have a red animal, just because they are not of a different color, if they're not black, they can still receive a, uh, an added premium for falling into the upper two-thirds, that's what we call it in our, in our lingo, upper two-thirds quality grade, which is really interesting. So the, it, it incents the, the producer, the production side, the live side, to get as many as possible into that upper two-thirds. So it's really brought Red Angus up to a competitive level with any other uh, color breed that is out there um, and, uh, and, and reward them specifically for delivering what the consumer's expecting and that's a high quality product. So that's probably the one thing I'd put my finger on in terms of what, we've, what we collectively have built that allows Red Angus now to be competitive with any other uh, breed specified grid that's out there how we utilize the yellow tag program is that uh, we look at those feeder cattle and we know that now they have a special added value when compared to any other feeder cattle we might get because now they qualify for this red angus plus choice grid and so um, that's how we look at it so they're not a commodity they're actually a special kind of a program and if we can if we can agree on the value of those cattle coming in we know that we've got a special target for them to go to there is no question that red angus producers now have all the tools they need to succeed in the feeder cattle market reap the rewards of your genetic inputs by enrolling your cattle in the fccp and allow buyers the extra option of marketing those cattle on the Choice Plus Premium Red Angus Grid. You're watching The American Rancher. We'll be right back. Ludvigson Stock Farms is well known throughout the beef industry for producing quality Red Angus cattle for more than 60 years. Known for low birth weight, growth, carcass, and maternal characteristics, Ludvigson Stock Farms also maintains the impressive Red Angus eye appeal throughout their herd. To learn more about Ludvigson Stock Farms and the great genetics they offer, visit them online at ludvigsonstockfarms.com. Well, I think a rancher has to be a steward of the land. There's nobody else that can take care of land better than a rancher. When we switched over to the uh, Perina products, it was a step in the right direction. The difference we see in the cattle is the consistency of their nutrition. The cattle hold their condition a lot better throughout the whole year. It does make a difference that we can see, day in and day out. The Country Page has a wide variety of cattle from different regions. Having the ability to accommodate many of our customers, our team is always available to assist whatever cattle needs you may have. I like to use the country page because it gives me advantage to sell these cattle for immediate delivery. Hard work, dedication, that's one thing that kind of sets the base for the country page. Country page is a great option to market your cattle. Visit with your rep today or call the office and with a few easy steps, we'll have your cattle listed in no time. Welcome back to the American Rancher. Red Angus focuses on capitalizing on traits to create a female base that have the ability to serve as the foundation of any commercial operation in the United States. No matter what your environment is, having females that breed on time, calve easy, and raise a healthy calf will always be in demand. Red Angus females don't only fulfill the basics, but they do it with extra efficiency, all the while staying in the cow herd longer. Red Angus is focused on creating the tools and technology necessary to build confidence that Red Angus females do just that. Let's listen in with Larry Keenan, Director of Breed Improvement at the Red Angus Association of America, and CJ Blue of CB Farms Incorporated in Hutchinson, Kansas 
as they explain the basic tools necessary to build a foundational cowherd utilizing Red Angus maternal traits. The backbone of Red Angus is genetic evaluations which provide our seed stock producers as well as their commercial producers with the most accurate and reliable genetic predictions in the industry is through a concept called total herd reporting. Total herd reporting simply requires our members to report to the association the production and performance of every cow on the inventory in their operations on an annual basis. Through this complete contemporary group reporting, we are able to provide the most advanced, reliable genetic predictions for our seed stock producers and commercial producers to use in their selection decisions. Not only does THR allow for accurate and reliable genetic evaluations through complete contemporary group reporting, it also allows us to calculate truly herd building EPDs that our commercial producers can utilize in growing and, and selecting which replacement heifers to keep in their herds. The two primary EPDs that our commercial producers should focus on as they restock in their operations is Red Angus' stability EPD as well as the heifer pregnancy EPD. These two EPDs are only available through the use of total herd reporting. Stability predicts females' ability to remain in the herd until at least six years of age. Not only remaining in the herd, but remaining productive in the herd, meaning having a calf every year after she enters the operation. Additionally, the heifer pregnancy EPD provides commercial producers with a true measure of fertility. Through total herd reporting, our members supply to us which females are retained and exposed to breeding. Through THR, we were able to determine which of those exposures actually resulted in a calving observation. Commercial producers that utilize these two EPDs, along with our standard Cavanese direct, Cavanese maternal, growth and carcass, provide them the ultimate ability to sustain their operations profitability for generations to come. Whenever we get into our maternal type of sires and what we're going to make our replacement heifers out of, we, we begin to really get kind of picky with what we want. Um, and, and maybe not in this particular order, but we're going to look at Cavanies Direct, we're going to look at heifer pregnancy, um, stability, we're going to look at marbling. I mean, we want, a, um, we want an efficient, moderate cow that kind of puts the, um, the quality grade into those cattle and then we'll use our terminal bulls to help us get, get a little extra yield out of them. Commercial producers that combine Red Angus selection tools into their operations are able to build upon the convenience traits that Red Angus naturally have bred into them. Users of Red Angus cattle continue to comment uh, about the convenience traits of docility, uh, the pulled condition, as well as the hide color in Red Angus cattle. Producers who utilize grazing programs who rotationally graze and, and are, con are continuously uh, changing pastures with their cattle will appreciate the disposition of Red Angus cattle. Appreciate so many of the convenience traits, um, you know, that the Red Angus breed or the Red Angus cow in general brings a lot of the convenience traits to the table. I mean, whether it's docility or it's just the efficiency that the cow has, the fertility. Um, a lot of the things that, that with, on the production side, whenever you think about longevity and fertility and all those things that are attributed to heterosis and where you really see the improvement in heterosis, and I'm, not, I'm sorry, I'll get on a tangent. I won't argue, about, I won't argue with science and, and about what heterosis does, but um, again, I can't complain about any of those things for what the Red Angus cow is doing for us. Our longevity is fine, our fertility is fine. Um, and it gives us the flexibility to make those cows like we want. Some of the differences that we may have with respect to making cattle that do well in the feed yard and or make replacement heifers um, is that we've never tried to straddle the fence um, when it comes to bull selection. We basically have two kinds of sires in our place. We've got bulls that make um, um, feeder cattle and we've got bulls in our place that make replacement heifers. Um, it's not saying that some of those sires don't still do a pretty good job at some of the other traits. Um, but by using more terminal sires in our mature cows and more maternal sires in our young cows, 
Uh, we feel like we have the freedom or the capacity to put the emphasis on certain traits that will work in either one of those situations. Although Red Angus initiated total herd reporting in 1995, we recognize the need to continuously evolve our genetic predictions to accommodate for evolving technologies that will allow us to more completely and reliably describe the genetics of Red Angus cattle. To that, Red Angus has re recently released genomic merit tests. These genomic tests, previously often referred to as 50K or HD tests for genomic merit, are simply DNA tests that allow us to measure an animal's genomic contributions, which ultimately allow us to incorporate that information into their EPD calculations, increasing the accuracy, and further increasing the reliability of those genetic predictions that our commercial and seed stock producers use in their selection decisions. The power of incorporating genomic data obtained through these DNA tests simply allow us to provide our seed stock producers and commercial producers with industry leading, highly accurate and reliable genetic predictions on their, on their animals to use in their selection decisions. Combining the power of total herd reporting and DNA tests for genetic merit provide Red Angus users the most reliable EPDs in the industry that they can use in their operations to further increase profitability and ultimately increase the sustainability of their operations. Today we're using DNA just, uh, um, you know, we, we, we've 50K'd some sires that were in our bull battery that we're, AI to, we're AIing to ourselves. Um, <clears throat> we've also um, gotten parent identification on all of our sires so that if we've got them in a multi-sire pasture and we observe a problem or observe something that we don't like, we can hopefully go back and test those calves and find out and tie it back to a sire. So that's the way that we've used DNA so far. The strategic vision and the focus on the commercial cattle, and I think that's been the core of the breed. I, I can't remember, it's, I think it's in your mission, your vision, and your values or whatever, but um, <clears throat> I think that's what they're doing right today. I think that differentiates the Red Angus breed and association from other breeds out there today. Um, the, the fact that because you've got that strategic vision and that focus, I think it's led to a lot of the commercial programs that we've got today with the FCCP and some of those other things. Um, and, and, and I guess that's what I like about it. I mean, if you ask what I like about the breed today, that's what I like, is the fact that it, it's, it, can, it can bring value to the table for commercial cattlemen like me. Commercial producers that want to take advantage of all the strengths that Red Angus provides can do so by identifying and purchasing pro-cow tag Red Angus females. ProCal is a program developed by the Red Angus Association to identify replacement quality females that are guaranteed to be at least 50% Red Angus genetics. The Red Angus Association of America continues to increase its numbers of registered females throughout the United States. It's no wonder so many producers are choosing to stock their cow herd with Red Genetics. For more information about Red Angus tools and programs mentioned today, visit the Red Angus Association of America online at redangus.org. That's all the time we have today. Thank you for joining us. For more information about us, visit our website, theamericanrancher.com, or check us out on Facebook. I'm Pam Minnick. Thanks again for joining us, and we'll see you next time here on The American Rancher. Tune in to the Rural Way of Life on the American Rancher. Go with us as we visit the people and places and follow the stories that make ranching an American lifestyle. It's both the heritage and enterprise of livestock production across our nation each week from the people that do it. Check RFD-TV, the magazine, for times and listings in your area and visit our website, theamericanrancher.com.